In the upcoming Jurassic World Evolution DLC, Return to Jurassic Park, we are getting classic skins from the original trilogy. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but I'm fairly confident that the raptor skins we've all been begging for will be part of that DLC. So thankfully, I didn't plan on discussing those skins in this video because that point will soon be irrelevant. But just for the record, I want the two raptor skins from JP3 more than anything. No, in the second episode of Skin Deep, I will show you some awesome dinosaur skins that are not in the game and are not even part of the Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World franchise. Frontier has made some great skins and some not so great skins, so they could still stand to learn a thing or two. I must preface this video by stating that I do not own any of the incredible artwork I will be showing you. I did not create it, I don't own it, I'm just sharing it with you. We are looking at the art of people working on Path of Titans, Prehistoric Kingdom, as well as independent artists whose work I've come across. Since this is a small channel and no money is being made with this video, I thought it would be okay to show you these amazing images. And credit is given either in the video itself or by including the link in the description box below. However, if anyone does object, this video will of course be immediately taken down. I'm only acting out of benign enthusiasm. Last thing before we get started, the images are not ranked. I've only organized them to the extent of grouping all of the Ceratopsis skins together. The rest is just random. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're curious about the rest of the Skin Deep series, subscribe so you don't miss an episode. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what else you can expect from Skin Deep. Here we have the first of 20 skins and the first of many Ceratopsid skins that I'm going to show you because, in my opinion, the Ceratopsids were um, done dirty in Jurassic World Evolution. They have really boring skins. They, they didn't really step out of the box with any kind of coloring or patterning that is noteworthy. I know that uh, the Taurosaurus, the Pentaceratops, and uh, what am I searching for? The um, Chasmosaurus actually do have patterning on their frill, but it's quite subtle and I would have liked more bright and more contrasting colors, as you can see right here on this beautiful face. This is uh, the Styracosaurus from Prehistoric Kingdom. The, uh, the model was done by Maurizio... Morrison, I'm sorry, the script is really small, I can barely read it, and Cindy Rago. So, well done. Very, very cool. What I like about this and what I would have wanted for basically any Ceratopsid is just to have, you know, a, a pretty bland body. Uh, contrasted with an amazing pattern and amazing bright colors on the, on the head and on the frill. The second image we are looking at is also the Styracosaurus by Prehistoric Kingdom. They are doing some amazing work. I'm seeing a lot of things from Prehistoric Kingdom that I really like. We've been made to think that they look a certain way. Mostly, you know, grayish, brownish colors, not a lot of pattern going on. I like that they go in a completely opposite direction and do give the dinosaur some really interesting skins. Not so much this one. This one doesn't interest me, interest me that much. But the one at the top right here, that one and uh, that one, those are really interesting to me. First off, the one at the top, I like the uh, counter counter shading where <laughs> it's light on top and dark on the bottom. I think the, uh, the color contrast is very nice. It's a nice color combination. But what really does it for me is the, uh, the white that they've added in this really interesting striping pattern on the tail and the, uh, the boote. And of course, again, on the face and on the frill. Now the one at the bottom, um, also really nice. I like that the uh, the difference between the top and bottom is a little less faded. It's more of a, um, a sharp line, a sharp contrast be between the two of them, except for this modeling. Again, on the boote, ctrl Z, ctrl Z, ctrl Z. <laughs> Uh, the face is very interesting. They are using a very bright orange, which is something we don't really see much, if anything, in Jurassic World Evolution. But I really like it. I want to see more neon colors incorporated in dinosaur designs. Another image of the Styracosaurus by Prehistoric Kingdom, because I really, really love this design. These are just different renders of the skins I've already shown. It's j it just goes to show that we don't really need color so much. We just need something interesting. 
Again, though, I'm not sure about the uh, porcupine-esque um, spikes on the back. Here we can see what Prehistoric Kingdom has in store for the Triceratops. And again, they are uh, they are following um, sort of what what is a concept for them, I suppose, and something I would have wanted for Jurassic World Evolution, which is to make the body more or less muted, not, not too much going on, but then really go all out with the head, with the frill. And uh, I think that's really cool. I like this one a lot. The uh, the really bright, sorry, the really bright blue on the frill, with the uh, the mint green edges, uh, and then to continue with this really interesting, um, almost like it's like it's uh, dots of paint on the body that just continues the color scheme over the body. This one, eh, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Now these two are also really interesting. I love this golden head. I think that's really, really cool. Again, it just goes to show we don't need much in terms of color, but just do something. Do something. And they've done something and they've done it really well. Here we have the first of the Instagram images. This is by Discover Dinosaurs. Uh, I follow these guys on Instagram and I really enjoy the... Uh, paleo art as uh, as it's called that they are putting out there i love just you know in my lunch break i'm just uh, scrolling through all of these images and saving them on my phone i really love seeing this kind of stuff we are done with the ceratopsids finally <laughs> and we're gonna look at some different skins for different species and this is a pachycephalosaurus um it's stated here that the artwork is by ganesh rao i don't know if that's pronounced correctly but it was posted by bobby dinosaurs we're, we're not see, like, really seeing much of this skin. I mean, it's only a headshot, but I really like this tone of blue. The uh, the pattern, the the striping actually reminds me a lot of the homelocephaly skin, but it's a little bit more subtle. The um, the difference between the two colors is a little more subtle. I'm, I'm thinking about the rainforest homo homelocephaly skin, which is dark blue with, I think it's, it's beige or yellowish striping. And... I do like that skin, but I think it, it's a little bit too uh, too much for me for anything other than that really, really tiny dinosaur. I like this a lot more. I mean, it's still that interesting pattern, but the color contrast is a little bit less um, in your face. It, it just blends a little bit better together. The, uh, the light blue with the darker blue, or maybe it's more like a turquoise. Uh, it's interesting that the dome is a little bit light green. This is, as a painting, this is absolutely gorgeous. I can't even imagine getting that kind of detail. That's so cool. That's really, really beautiful. And that's why I wanted to show these, just to show how much awesome stuff there is out there. This next skin, I think it's an Edmontosaurus before the, um, before the crest was discovered. Oh, my brush is really small. This is a big ass image um so yeah i think this is an amount source before the uh it was discovered that they have a crest i i'm not really sure if the uh if the blue on the bottom is actually part of the skin or if it's just atmospheric lighting because obviously this is a uh, this is a png this was a png image it was just put over a white background so it might have just it might have just been that the lighting was uh, blue at the bottom but either either way, it's it's a really cool skin design. I'm I love this uh, this striping. Uh, the link for this one is uh, in the description down below, by the way, so you can check out the website where I found this. Next up, the link to where I found this image is also in the description box below. What I like about this, it's actually a really boring body. I mean, when you look at this part, there's not a lot going on. But what I like is this detail over here, which reminds me. Um, you know, of, uh, of zebras and uh, okapis. If that's how it's pronounced, I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce it in English. But yeah, it's... Um, that striping is really well done. Uh, with the... Um, the white and the dark brown as the background. And how it sort of comes together with these stripes over here. Ooh, yeah, I'm really adding... I'm adding so much visual interest to this video. It's amazing. But I think... You know, this is yet another example of how you can take a pretty simple color palette, pretty natural, pretty boring, you might even say, and make it interesting by just adding these kinds of details. 
And that is what I am looking for in dinosaur skins. And I think this is a really well designed skin. So I can't read your, your autograph, but whoever you are, you did really well. I also like the uh, the red that was added on the face. Just just a touch of color. I'm imagining maybe this is a male and, uh, and the female, you know, is a little bit different. Maybe it doesn't have the red on the face. Another amazing artwork. I really love this over here. Um, I, maybe that's the uh, Sarcosuchus. Um, this is the last of the herbivores we're going to look at, but in general I do really like the herbivore skins. Um, this tail is so beautiful. I love this combination of the really bright orange with the more dull... It's. I mean, it's not really red. There's a reddish tone to it, but it's not really red. But I really like that contrast of this, uh, of the brightness with the more dull color over there. I think it's gorgeous. This image is just gorgeous. I wish it was a little bit higher quality because, you know, this is like wallpaper material. But, um, yeah, really cool. Also, how awesome would it be, whoa, sorry, to have the Sarcosuchus in the game? Oh my god, I, that will blow my mind. I, I keep repeating myself, but again, we do not actually have that many interesting colors. Actually, now that I see this blue underbelly, maybe the Edmont source that I showed from before is also from Prehistoric Kingdom? I'm not sure. That's not where I found it. But uh, yeah, that, that does suggest so. But anyway, moving on. Um, again, it's just quite a dull color palette, but what I really love is that it's basically three different skins together and what we have on the face is what we get a lot in Jurassic World Evolution it's just a color with some gradient to it not a lot of interest in the middle over here we have sort of um, it's striped but also a little bit a little bit irregular over here uh, we have uh, three different colors the white at the back the uh, orange toned brown and then the uh, dark brown at the front almost with a greenish hue to it but then at the back end on the tail we have a, a more pronounced stripe pattern uh, banding on the uh, on the tail and the three together it's just it's so interesting to look at i would love to have this for pretty much all of my carnivores i'm in love with this skin it might be one of the favorites uh, that i'm showing you but I really love the skin. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, if you haven't seen it already. I know a lot of you are keeping up with uh, the prehistoric kingdom news and such. But I just wanted to show it. Because it's really awesome. I don't know if I'll be playing prehistoric kingdom. But I do enjoy these kinds of images. Another prehistoric kingdom skin. The Torvosaurus. Uh, again the model is by Maurizio Morrison. And the uh, texture and sculpt is by Cindy Rago. They are doing really awesome work. Um, it's basically the same as the last image. It's kind of like three different, uh, three different skins. We have just a solid toned tail, but because it's white, it's actually really different from what we're used to seeing. We have a body which is a gradient. We have, uh, you know, the really dark, almost black legs and arms with uh, red at the front and white at the bottom, obviously fading into the tail. And at the front, we have this quite busy pattern, but it looks really good. I think I would have preferred for the spots to be a little bit more irregular in shape. They are a little bit too perfectly round each and every time. This image is from Path of Titans, which I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I think it's, it's getting pretty close. I'm following them on Instagram as well, you know, keeping up to date with the news. Again, I don't know if I'm actually going to play the game, but I just love watching all this content and I love watching how they uh, create these dinosaurs. They call it the extinction, which is really funny. What I love about this skin, it's not so much the colors. I'm not really in love with the colors, but I love the uh, the sharp line between the top and the bottom color. I That's something that J Jurassic World Evolution doesn't do enough. It's a lot of really subtle gradients, really um, uh, nice blending, nice fading, and that's that's, that's nice and all, but once in a while, this would be cool. And of course, we do get this on the homelocephaly. The alternate skin pattern has this really stark contrast between the top and the bottom. But I want to see that for more skins. And this just goes to show how good that looks on a larger dinosaur. I think it's really cool. I, I do like um, 
the blue at the top in combination with the white at the bottom. I'm just not sure about the yellow that uh, that is in the middle. The next of the Instagram images, this one is by Mario Lanzarensis. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm pretty certain I mispronounced that name, but I also follow him on Instagram and I suggest you do as well. Uh, he does a lot of this great paleo art, really great skin designs, and I wanted to show this one because I really like the use of color here. I like that the body is uh, like this mossy dark green combined with the orange on top. First of all, that is a beautiful color combination. And uh, second of all, I think it's a really interesting use of color. Just having the top half have a different color. The, uh, the line is blended, but it's not, uh, it's not too faded that the color in the middle just gets muddled. I think it's a really interesting way to combine two colors, especially for a larger carnivore. Where I think Jurassic World Evolution doesn't take enough risks with color. What I also like is the uh, striping on the face, but what I like most about the skin is how it incorporates this just, you know, this little bit of color on the, uh, the tip of the muzzle and the bottom of the jaw. I think that's such a cool touch to incorporate just a tiny bit of really bright and vivid colors into a dinosaur design. I really love this skin. I think this is so cool and it's really unique with that uh, with that little touch at the uh, at the top. Another path of Titan skin and this is the concavenator. First of all, we need the concavenator in Jurassic World Evolution. I think it's such a cool dinosaur and um, such such an opportunity for really cool skins as you can see over here. I think this I mean it's a gray skin, uh, but this is this is a nice kind of gray. It's it's light. It's a little bit brighter. It's not so not so bland and dull as the uh, grays that we see a lot in Jurassic World Evolution. And of course, we have this absolutely gorgeous pattern on the sail on top of the hips. And that orange is brought back around the eye, which I also really love is uh, incorporating a different color around the eye area. It makes the eye stand out more. It 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 invokes this kind of creepy uh, aesthetic in my opinion and it's it's really well done in this case i know that in path of titans you can customize the dinosaur skins quite a bit you can choose different colors different patterns and combine them so there are a lot of options and that's you know that's the dream for jurassic world evolution but that's not what we're going to get maybe in a possible likely sequel but not in the current game Yet another Path of Titan skin. Of course, they are doing a lot of great work, just like Prehistoric Kingdom. When I first uh, scrolled past this image, my first thought was, oh my god, that looks like kind of like a poisonous frog or a poisonous lizard or something. Then I read the description, and yes, it is indeed based on the pois poison dart frog. So, really well done. I, I, rec I recognize it instantly, so that means that they did a good job incorporating it in the Metricanthosaurus. I, I would love to see this on the medium carnivores in Jurassic World Evolution, but also I think this would be a really good skin for the Hadrosaurus and the Iguanodon. The second to last skin is by Dinosaur Instagram. <laughs> um, when I saw this, I was immediately taken aback by it. It is a sculpture, by the way. I was immediately taken aback, taken aback by it because I would love so much, so much love to see this on the Spinosaurus in Jurassic World Evolution. You know, maybe this is really girly of me, but I love the color combination of pink and orange. You know, those sunset kind of colors. And this sail is just beautiful. It's so well done. The uh, the way the color bleeds down in the spines is really gorgeous. Nice, nice blend of colors. I like the more darker purple on the back here. And just the overall combination of colors on the body. One more that I briefly want to show you. It is this one by Discover Dinosaurs. Again, uh, second appearance on this uh, in this video. The artist is Carlo Arellano. I'm so bad at pronouncing names. We already know that. Um, what I like about this skin, it, it's actually pretty similar to a lot of the alpine skins that we get in Jurassic World Evolution. You know, in essence, if we don't look at, at the beautiful face. It's, uh, you know, it's a light gray whitish skin with some patterning on the uh, on the tail and the rest of the body as well. Some uh, some gray striping. But what I really like is how they incorporated all of that, uh, all of those tones of gray with some color. And they've done that by um, 
adding it to the jaw and around the eye as well. I don't think I can zoom in much because, of course, it's just an Instagram screen grab. But, um, yeah, it, it's around the eye as well, which I said I really love. And around the uh, jaw, I also like that the grey kind of goes like that, like it's sort of stabbing him through the eye. And I wish Jurassic World Evolution would do this for the alpine skins, you know. I, I love a good grey slash white skin, like the uh, the Savannah Sukumimus is one of my favorites, and also the Alpine uh, Indominus Rex, I really like that skin. But it would be even better if once in a while they just combined it with a pop of color, like here, and it just goes to show that that works really well. Here you can see which episodes I have planned for the rest of the series. If you missed the first episode, the link to that is coming right up in the end screen. Let me know in the comments which episode you are most looking forward to and subscribe and ring the bell if you don't want to miss an episode. I know these videos are not for everyone, most of you will be like, I really don't care. But I enjoy rambling about this sort of stuff and I hope that at least a couple of you will enjoy watching and will share your thoughts in the comments. For now, thank you so much for watching and until next time, enjoy the game.